Hello everyone, my name is Jason Smith and I want to talk to you about China's solar capacity. Actually, I want to talk about China and environmentalism generally. But recent news showed that China had built as much solar generating capacity, that means solar panels, in 2023 as the rest of the world had. Another startling statistic, China built as much solar generating capacity in 2023 as the United States has built in its entire history combined. China did that in one year. I want to put this in context. So China is also the leader in onshore wind. I mean, that means China has more onshore wind as any other country in the world. China is also the leader in offshore wind, meaning China has the most offshore wind generating capacity. China is also the leader in hydropower generation, meaning China has more hydropower dams and so forth than any other country in the world. Now, a lot of people like to point out that China generates the most amount of carbon as a country. Well, yeah, China's 20% of the world's population. Per capita, China generates far less than Australia, far less than the United States, far less than most of its Western counterparts. So it's not fair when you're considering that China is the largest manufacturing hub in the world to point out that maybe its emissions are high when it's also the highest population in the world. We need to put these things in context. That's why we have statistics. For those two things to be true simultaneously, China must be doing something right. Now, a few other things to put this into context. China also has the most EV chargers in the world. Now, I mean, not just like a little bit, but if you take the entire world EV charging stations to put them together and multiply it times about four or five, that's how many China has, which may also be why Chinese consumers buy more EVs than any other country in the world, because it's convenient. Now, I'm from California, and one thing that we could do a lot better in California is have numerous more EV charging stations. If we did so, then perhaps Californians would be more likely to buy EV vehicles. I want to point out another thing, you know, carbon capture. China actually has planted the most new and old forest growth over the last 30 years of any country in the world by far. China has also driven the prices of solar down. China also has the most uh, EV buses and taxi fleets of any other country in the world. And electric buses, bar none, I'm talking about orders of magnitude, more EV buses exist in China than in other countries. Not to mention China has 45,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. Now, there are major benefits to the way that China, the largest manufacturing hub in the entire world, has tackled environmental issues. Because not only is it fixing environmental issues in China, but it's exporting that capability to the rest of the world. I gotta say, as someone who has been a fan of environmentalism my whole life, from California, hoping for solar panels to be deployed everywhere, that I, my, I tip my hat to China. Thank you for doing what no other country could. The world will owe China a debt of gratitude uh, for the foreseeable future.